dude. I just took the biggest crap. Hey, where are you guys? We're over here, by the cart. Okay, I'm back. Dude, we've been waiting forever. Well, I'm sorry I had to take a dump. If you didn't eat so much, you wouldn't have diarrhea all the time, fat ass. Hey, I don't need to take any lip from a freaking girl. <laughs> Hang on, guys, my dad Damn. wants something. What? You've been on your computer all weekend. Shouldn't you go out and socialize with your friends? I am socializing, Artard. I'm logged on to an MMORPG with people from all over the world and getting XP with my party using TeamSpeak. I'm not a Artard. All right, sorry, guys. <gasps> Finally! I'm online again! Yes! Oh, shit! It's beautiful! Once I rose above the noise and confusion Just to get a glimpse beyond this illusion I was soaring ever higher So you are the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Well met, friend. My name is Minpilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Uh, my name's Randy, and I just really like beer. Welcome! We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Hey, look, it's the president! Alfie, no. And my sister, Alize, at your service. Okay, Stan, it's late. Go up to your room and get ready for bed. Please join with me in honoring their memory. And how do you propose to honor the memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell? Shut up, Shelly! Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eosia. I am Laha Brea of the Asians, servant to the one true god. I'm Brandy and I'm an alcoholic. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the primals. What do you want to do, huh? What do you want to do? Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. Look! There! Beside the Black Wolf! He's become one of them. Vancred! No! no, no and so no. I implore you, lend us yeah. your power. You of all people must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. You should have never come to our town. Gonna go fight for my children's future. I mean you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! Wow. That is huge. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. Will you look at that? Is that the biggest crap you've ever seen or what? How do you even think of this stuff? Come on, that's pretty impressive. Uh, hey, Stan! Stan! Look at this. His size is staggering. Huh? Never seen one that big, have you? Oh man, yeah, that is hot. And so they came, at a friend's behest, with memories of the lost and dreams of redemption, with hope yet in their hearts. Three weary travelers whose arrival would set in motion great change. We've got to keep moving! We're in deep hypothermia, all of us! Gotta keep the blood flowing! I claim the right to name a champion! Carry on my wayward son! Are you ready to run? Come, my friend. Let us put an end to this mama's farce. Just remember, Stan. Win or lose. Those are your two options. Win or 
lose. Hang on, I almost caught the dragon. I can get him! Wait, where's he going now? No! No, I said! No! Oh, do not look at me so. A smile better suits a hero. No, you can't die! Everybody really likes you! Man, that is hot. Oh, yeah. You are safe. Thank the Twelve. Thank you, Sharon. Do you feel strong enough to talk? At the last moment, I invoked a teleportation magic. Sharon? And I found myself adrift in the live stream. I don't know what it's like to have periods, but I'll try to be more understanding from now on. Look at you, all grown up and womanly. Hey, Sharon, did you see the box of Jack Daniels? All right, see you, Sharon. Have a good night. Such strength. It defies all reason. How? How can this be? Who? What are you? Welcome, welcome. Find yourself an empty seat and I'll be with you in a moment. Here, a mug on the house. Let's get some color back in them cheeks. This is calm. You are right, my man. On this day, let us all remember that no people on this earth are really enemies, only folks with differences. <laughs> now, what I have for you is a nice goat cheese and heirloom tomato frittata, and we're gonna top that with a little cream fraiche. Oh, yeah. Ugh. By the Twelve? I thought Ishgard remarkable, but this... We are certainly not in Eorzea anymore. Oh, wow. Wow. This is gonna be our best special ever! Oh! <laughs> A thousand pardons, my lady. The signs of the Seventh Dawn, I presume. I hope your voice hey, is whoa, not too whoa. trying. What the fuck is going on? My, such naked suspicion. Oh dear, have I offended you? What I'm upset about is a wee little thing called cultural appropriation. Ever heard of it? That's why we can't wear sombreros on Cinco de Mayo. Why we can't dress like Indians on Halloween. Might I suggest that we continue this conversation at the company offices? Too many eyes and ears here, you understand. You racist son of a bitch. You have no right to wear that stuff. It is offensive! I see now that this was neither the time nor the place to indulge said longing. Over there! Someone's coming! All right, all right, here you go, boys. Kill him. Surely you can do that much. Wait, 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 whoa! What the fuck? Spoil not your appetite for the feast, children of man! Alright, now for my baked ziti, we are gonna start off by getting some extra virgin olive oil into the pan. The dish will be served whether you will... Oh yeah, get that all over there. It's all slick. It's all wet and slick. Mm. The village is not far, my lord. If it please you, we shall escort you there directly. Ah, but as his radiance wishes... I, 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 and may I say how terribly sorry we are that you had to come so far. Shinobi? And me without my brute. The step has spoken. Then the Han is. We have won. The Maul have won. The Dawn Throne is ours. Kill him! Kill them all! You want a war? Well, you got one! Game on, asshole! Today's the day I finally shut up! Kuma. Cool. 
Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Lise, gotcha. saying that? Why aren't you making those words with your mouth? Come to have a good laugh, have you? I see you, Fedora. I see I you just... for what you are. Mark me, savior of the savages. There will be a reckoning. That's nice. Now how's about you take that pussy stick and get off my farm before I shove it up your ass and you're blowing mist out your butt? My lord was destined to lead us unto a glorious new age. Yeah, whatever. All you're doing is blowing smoke. Sorry, fruity steam, pussy. I will cherish this moment. Lock it away within my heart. Until the day we meet again. Go vape some more, you fucking puss! You look troubled, my friend. Was it something he said? Oh dear. We seem to be missing a corpse. Well, it must be somewhere. I only hope it isn't walking around. That's it! A wall! We could build a huge city wall so that we have complete control over who comes in. You can't just wall yourself off from the outside world. Putting walls up never helps anything. Tearing them down brings us together. The Black Wolf has shed his pelt, never to return to Garlemald or her legions. Have you forgotten what happened all those years ago? Or are you just trying to make up for it? At last, I found you. Who are you? I'm afraid such questions will have to wait. We have precious little time. Go to the Crystal Tower. I have left something for you near its base. All you need do is find it. Oh. Your time has not yet come. But I see you've met my guest. I will escort him to the Crystarium myself. Come with me. I will answer whatever questions you have when we are somewhere more private. The realm in which you now find yourself belongs to one of the 13 reflections or shards. The first, to be precise. I'm a small business owner from the United States. How wonderfully exciting. What a brave and reckless and marvelous thing you did. Can I give you guys my card? I'm just starting to grow my business. But answer me this, traveler. Did your garments come with you when you crossed over? Your teeth? Your nails? Oh, that? That's weed. Marijuana. You know. Just as I thought. Right. We were going to organize a room for you, weren't we? Come along. I know you. You're the warrior of light from the source. Can I help you find something? What? Did you just... You can hear me? Oh. Oh, I get it. You can be a spooky ghost all you want, but no! Everyone just wants to prove that Randy's going crazy! Oh, gods, how long has it been? Go ahead! All you want, bro! All you want! But don't mind Randy, he's just losing his mind! Grrr. As such, I would suggest you first seek out one of the twins. Alfino is on Calusia. He's not here to compete. Leave him be. Back. It is home to a city called Yulmo. I'm a sneaky little bee. Buzz buzz. Where the rich and privileged while away their days in idleness. Yeah, you like that? Ali Zay, meanwhile, traveled south to the arid wastes of Armoray. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later, but I had been hoping for sooner. Shelly, we need to talk about your marijuana problem. 
Those who dwell there live in constant fear of attack by the Sin Eaters. Have you seen Halric? I swear, I only took my eyes off him for a moment. Told you, kids got demons. No, 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 no! But you must be wondering about Thancred. He has taken up with a new companion. Farasithar, Krakleath. I'm a butterfly! Another self-important little brat. Just what we need. It's me, up here! <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> I'm flying free with my beautiful butterfly wings! It seems we won't be joining you. Butterflies have no concern for such things, Stan. I'm gonna go find me some butterfly poon. To the north is the fairy kingdom of Il Mech. That is where you'll find Urianger. I have told her many things. Where we came from, what we fight for, but of that day, I have not spoken. I mean, you can't just wait until she's a teenager and expect her to figure out everything all at once. The question remaineth, however. Who shall take up the flame of hope which Minfilia hath borne for so long? I am Emmet Selk. Asian. Oh, hey, fuck you. A war waged without knowledge of the enemy is no war. It is mere bloodletting. Just once. Might we not seek to find common ground? Look, it's not gonna be easy. It's not something anyone wants to do, but we're just gonna have to get really, really high. To the east lies the once prosperous civilization of Rak Tika. Your stola is stationed there, in the heart of the forest. We apprehended them as you ordered, but are you certain these are Sin Eaters? Mine apologies, Master Matoya, but thou art mistaken. Before thee standeth our dearest comrade, the truest hero among us. Hey everybody, want to thank you all for coming tonight. My name's Steamy Ray Vaughn, and here's a little bit of Rattlesnake. A one, two, three, four! It cannot be. Yeah. Whoa. Why did you spare me? Why? What have I done to deserve this mercy? Now listen up. My friends, the time is almost here. We're gonna make it. Not one more good person dies on my watch. Weapons and ready. Let's make this count. Stick together. Fight and struggle. We have work to do. Seek salvation by your own hands. Though the losses be grave, endure them. Though the victories be hollow, claim them. How many times must I tell you? The trolley won't run! Boring. Ugh, come on. Tis a beautiful, wonderful dream. One we share. Should you survive the remaining calamities, you will become our equal. No, no, I'm sorry, but I'm not like you. How well do you know the Exarch? Has he ever deigned to show you what hides beneath the cow? Thank you for fighting hey, for this world. Mexico, for no believing. Fare you well, my friend. My inspiration. What the hell are you doing? Will you listen to me for five seconds? Keep building giant robots, the cops are gonna have questions! Hang on! He's got a gun! <laughs> I can imagine how torn you must feel, looking at that sky. Knowing what it means to everyone. And that you're responsible. I almost did it. I almost made something of myself. You know, when you get real close, you start to think that maybe your life is gonna matter. <laughs> you're in a corner, and there doesn't seem to be any obvious way out. But that doesn't mean it's over. However hopeless it seems, you haven't lost yet. I mean, this was something I made. Something that came from me. That was a, a part of me. But you heard what the Asians said. The light you shine will warp the world around you, whether you like it or not. 
Even Yastola and Reen had to concede that point. <laughs> I know that this late in my life I'll never come so close to finally having meaning. There were times in the years and decades that followed when I wondered if we might not have been better off just letting the rejoining happen. But seeing that giant Talos stir to life cured me of any doubts I still had. And I can finally feel proud of the part we played in helping this world survive. You're right. I thought being a victim would solve all my problems. Being a victim has a downside, too. Well, come on then. This world is not yours to end. This is our future, our story. I didn't hear no bell. No, it can't be. Damn you. Damn you all! Remember. Remember us. Remember that we once lived. Everybody really liked him! Stan! 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 Stan, I need your help. I've got to try to take it easy from now on, son. Get Daddy another beer, will you? There was a time when I would have borne the weight of such expectations without a second thought. I know that! But this disease is just eating me up! I hate my illness! To tell the truth, I'm beginning to wonder if I chose the right path. I know exactly how you feel. I've got alcoholism. Maybe I am not the person I thought I was. The person you think I am. I'm going to die! And thus do we meet face to face at last. My warrior of light, guided by the crystal. Conflict looms. Monumental. Which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Guys, I wanted to talk to you because I want you all to think about how we're viewed as a family. Pray forgive me. I was delayed. It's fine, Orianger. We're all here now. Let's get down to business then, shall we? We don't really have any black friends. We don't reach out to the black community. Yes, it is quite the quandary. Shelly, you never bring any black dudes over. I mean, Stan, your three best friends are all white. Thoughts? Objections? I did gain a sense of where things lie. We'd like to think that, wouldn't we? But actions speak louder than words, gang. I guess... I guess I just want you to think about it. We must prevent the Telophoroi's plans from coming to fruition. I shall continue what I've begun in Charlian. I should also like to steal the services of an Archon or two. And thereby gain access to a greater range of reading material. Testicular cancer. Most common in older men and can be extremely aggressive. Oh, this is good. Nidana. An alchemist residing in distant Favnair. And one last thing. You might experience a teensy-weensy touch of violent ethereal oh, sickness. Her missive describes the sudden appearance of a tower. What? And the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a lunar primal. Allow me to tell you a story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asiel. Oh, great. Everything's getting a reboot now. That fact is of no consequence. Not to mention the recent inscrutable behavior of the Forum. Do you remember when the decision was made to come to Charlien? Oh man, I really like it. Fortuno's refusal in Gridania had those same undertones. It was as if, having stared unblinking into the face of impending doom, it simply turned away to pursue something more important. How do we know they're not? need to be brave enough to ask questions. This inquiry is now in session. 
Words with venom, words that bind. Words used like weapons to cloud my mind. I'm a person, I'm a man, but no matter how I try, people just say, hey, there's that guy. Mind your tongue, Archon. Everywhere I go, it's always the same. Everyone just thinks of me as that one single name. Hey, n guy, n guy, hi, n guy, stop! Now go. Call me n guy. Fill me with your hate. Try to bring me down. Oop up, you're too late. When will it end? Will there ever be a time when I can be thought of as more than just n guy? <laughs> <laughs> Respect. Hello, students. My name is Dr. Marsh, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what happened at the school yesterday. How do a man and a woman make a baby? Anybody? A man and a woman. What do they do to make a baby? How is that even possible? The man puts his penis, okay, into the woman's vagina. By the twelve. What happens after that? Okay, now sometimes a man can feel like how long his penis is is actually important. But is it? I should hope not. The truth is, it doesn't really matter. What does matter is length times diameter plus weight over girth divided by angle of the tip squared, okay? So then let's move on to the example on your study sheet. How about you? Could you read the first example for the class? Tis a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. We shall provide support and protection to those in need during our time in Garlemald. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, then that's what we'll do. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Aldin's behest. Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. I will be your twinkle-toed gentleman of light. For battle and blood we come as a step is sorely lacking in both. Should I take them out now? Uriange, Estinian and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. You can't go out there, you'll freeze to death! As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. All right, come on, both of you! We've got to pull together every warm piece of clothing we can find! No. Why? Why wouldn't they... Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? I'm warning you. You're on the wrong side of this. We're just trying to get answers. Put it down, now. Now, what I have for you is a nice goat cheese and heirloom tomato frittata. And we're gonna top that with a little cream fraiche. Oh, yeah. Ugh. You know my intent. Consume the god, then the world. Stoke your fury to a raging inferno, and dance among the ashes. Or perhaps you would face me here now. I don't even know how to deal with you anymore. Lost. My god. What are we going to do? Tis a rather curious crew she hath chosen. Their endearing forms intended to ease the passengers' hearts, perhaps. Perhaps? It's okay, guys. We need to talk. My name is Livingway, and we are the Lopperets. Pleasure to meet you all, but I'm still trying to make sense of this. I wanted to keep this from you. Really wanted to wait until you were older, but you just had to keep asking questions. By thine unperturbed countenance, I gather this eventuality was anticipated. Oh, yes. Quite expected. You have to be careful when we think somebody's on to us. We are all part of a secret society. A very ancient, very important society of men who follow the way of the rabbit and protect the secret of the Easter Bunny. So too hath the Watcher claimed. I dare say it is beyond anything we have ever seen. Confusion and bewilderment are completely understandable. We are called the Hair Club for Men. Perhaps you could tell us a bit more about your terrestrial collaborators. You don't seem to understand how serious this is. 
The secret of Easter that we protect is something that could rock the foundation of the entire world. Might I ask where exactly you intend to take us? I can't tell you. You have to be allowed into the society first, but... But perhaps it's time. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm, I'm so startled. I've got the video camera, got it turned on again. Okay, this is Randy Marsh. I'm shooting this video of myself. 20 minutes ago, some huge creatures attacked our town. It's still chaos out the window. I barely made it back to the house. Sharon is here with me. And there's Shelly. Wave to the camera, Shelly. Randy, will you put down that camera? We need to figure out what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm so startled. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Go, Randy, run! We gotta get out! There you are. You've spoken with the survivors. We thought to share what we have gleaned. Fortuitous timing. Alizé and I completed our own investigations not long ago. Then we should take a moment to compare notes. Shall we begin with the two of you? Oh God, what are we going to do? They're inside! Run! As fast as you can! Our people! You must save them! Have mercy! Yeah, I hate watching babies drown. Seems like a waste of a good baby. People of Razatan, it warms my heart to see so many brave, here, here, look, resilient look. souls before me. Oh, oh, I didn't have a tape in it. My home, my friends, no more than a dream. Well, you're right about that. You must travel to Elpis, to the time when Hermes served as its chief. In all likelihood, none will be able to see or hear you. And how might we address you, my new friend? Tegrity. A fine name. And I'm pleased to see you understand our words. What are you doing here? We are here to speak with Hermes, the chief overseer of this facility. May we please... be friends? Oh, oh okay. If the final days are indeed as described, they will bring death to all that I hold dear. Utterly preposterous! I refuse to accept that our world could be undone by some unforeseen calamity. Those people from the future have had a hard life. Where they come from is dirty and overpopulated and poor. You can't even imagine the kind of depression they come from. I've had my fill of your fiction. I will return to my duty, and you will not bother me again. You might want to just stop for a second and think about how crappy the future really is. The two are somehow involved. Yet it's difficult to believe that they would deliberately seek to end all life. But that's... impossible. Why would he do this? He is a gentle soul, and well-intentioned. Yet it does not take ill intent to beget ill. This is wrong! All wrong! Whoa. What the hell was that all about? You heard what she said. She means to destroy us all. You can't just keep us in here. If we ourselves are flawed, does it not stand to reason that we too should be discarded? That is sophistry, and you know it. You all need to stop right now before more people get hurt. As you move forward, so too will I. And when mankind has found the strength to stand against despair, we shall silence the song of oblivion. Perhaps. One day, but for now, it's just too much for us. Fare you well, my light of the future, till we meet again. Every great empire reaches a point where going backward can seem more appealing than forward. When the world is changing so fast, it makes us yearn for the old ways when life seemed simpler. But it doesn't mean those old ideas are good for us now. 
We have to face one hard reality. The new Star Wars was not as good as everyone thought it was. It may seem fun to go back and recycle the past we loved, but we end up with no sustenance. This is all wrong! Why must we suffer so? There must be a way to restore things to the way they were. We can't accept it! We won't accept it! Does this look familiar? It is time to stop pointing fingers! Finger pointing gets us nowhere! Steve! Order! We have no time to waste on debate. This is Alphano. The Scions have need of you. What's all this? Gathering firewood, so to speak. We alone can accomplish little. But joined by others, we may yet build a bonfire to carry us heaven's ward. Yeah, well, you know, my son is just a little bit more clever than some. Well, shall we make a toast to victory? To our comrades. To the future of the star. Hey, this tastes like shit. Hmm. So, are we ready? As ready as we'll ever be. Oh, come on. Try it again. With feeling. Engage! You approach the bounds of my ultimate, where those who yet valiantly cling to life go back to hell. What? What is that? The rest is up to you. No. Yeah, everything sucks. That's where we're at today. Everything sucks. <laughs> Why does everything suck this hard? There is someone here who has wished for this ruin, and I believe that together. Alizé and I can overcome their will. How did we get here? Completely confused and with shit for choices? I know. I know. Don't worry about us. You must take the next step. What's it all about, huh? Are we just bags of carbon and water put on this planet for no purpose? You're born, you die, then you're just food for the worms. In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. Call them back to your side. Yeah! We're back! Yeah! At the end of everything, I find you. Oh, Jesus, we forgot all about that guy! You struggle in vain. You will not silence our song of oblivion. Why did it have to be like this? Why couldn't we try to live on this planet together? Maybe we're not perfect beings, but we'll keep on trying to make it better. I wish to hear your words, share your feelings, know your thoughts. Things are different now. It'll be harder, but you can change. You just have to demolish what's there and start over. One day, life will fill the universe again. And Hermes will see this and smile. How, I do not know. But I do know that where there is a will, there is a way. After all, miracles happen every day. Do they not? All right, let's not make that mistake again. <laughs> And so I come before you to issue challenge and offer singular bliss. Oh, you think so? Bring the shizzle. Ha! Finally mustered the desire to kill me, have you? Ugh! <sighs> 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 
It's Moin. What of you, my mirror? Born into this world, bestowed name, bid to seek out strife and adventure. Some worms do not heal. The dead cannot be returned to us. But we, the living, can yet choose another course. Let us give them a new legacy. We who yet walk the path should not think too much of destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. We too are miracles. Each and every one of us. Born of the warm breath of life that traverses the heavens, swirling through eternity. Was this life a gift or a burden? I understand now the choice you made in death. There is life. You once sought to preserve the honor of my dear friend. Tis a blessing that I may now repay that debt in kind. Farewell, warrior of light, and thank you for showing me the way. There is a path only you can walk, and it must not end here, not like this! Did you find... fulfillment? You risked your all for us. Before you came, we had never known the beauty of the night sky. You do know. You're not alone in this, don't you? Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side. I... Expand your horizons. Go forth and seek discovery. Konnichiwa! Yo, what's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I got a quick message for you, but make sure you stick around until the end because the adventure ain't quite over yet. I just want to give a quick shout out to the stream community and these folks in particular for the help in filming not only for this video, but all the videos I've done in the past and all the videos I'm sure to do in the future. Definitely wouldn't be here without you. This one's for you. I really do hope you enjoyed. And hey, if you're looking to uh, be a part of these shenanigans or you're just looking for a place to hang out, come find us on Twitch. Link in the description below and uh, let me know your favorite Randy moment. All right, peace out. Check it out, guys! Might you have a moment to speak further? Oh, yeah, bitches are gone! Spring break! Spring break! Spring break! This is gonna be the best spring break ever! They're gonna be gone the whole week!